Let's bring some AI into our Commodore 64 fun. In this video, we'll use an MCP server running on the SysOps 64 cartridge. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol, and it's a standardized way to connect AI to other systems. Some like to call it USB for AI. Let's check it out. First up, we'll connect to the SysOps 64 cartridge using SSH. We'll start an MCP server that was written in Python. It makes use of sysop APIs using C bindings, as well as some of the sysop binaries in user local bin. Let's start up the server like so. First, we'll use the MCP inspector tool to test out some of the tools we expose. We just provide the address of sysop64 and the port that our server is running on. Hit connect and then click list tools. Let's test a few out. First, let's reset the machine using sysop reset. All right, now how about poking a memory location? Or how about reading the screen contents? This one will grab a screenshot. In this case, it defaults to a size that the Gemma 3 vision model can use. Sysop find files can be used to search the partition where your C64 programs are stored. There are also tools for loading program files directly, as well as loading from D64 images. Let's test one of those out. After loading, we'll use the run tool. There's also a tool for sending messages to the user, which will use our frame buffer to overlay on top of the Commodore 64 video. There's even one that does a code patch on the fly using DMA to try to bypass screens that are waiting for a key press. That could definitely come in handy for doing some C64 test automation. There's a bunch more here for things like determining whether the machine is PAL or NTSC and dealing with the color palette. Adding new tools is very easy. This entire MCP server was vibe coded with GitHub Copilot Agent and Claude Sonnet. Okay, you get the idea. Now let's try using it with an LLM. There are multiple ways to do this. First, I'm going to use LM Studio running on my PC. I've got it configured to use my MCP server, as you can see here. Let's see if it can help me find a game to play. That's pretty cool. Let's ask to play Kung Fu Master. As you can see, in this example, I'm using OpenAI's GPT OSS 20B model. How about a screenshot? LM Studio allows you to specify which of these tool invocations you want to run automatically so you don't have to hit proceed every time if you prefer. Next, let's get some help with coding. Let's use our MCP server with VS Code and GitHub Copilot Agent. I'll use the Claude Sonnet model for this one. Let's make sure our MCP server is configured properly, like so. First, let's see if it can figure out where the running program is. It does this pretty quickly, but let me speed this up for you. It can be pretty interesting to watch the details of the reasoning process going on here. Super cool. It's figured it out and has recommended a good next step to disassemble the code. 
Note that I have updated the MCP server to include a tool that does disassembly. Most LLMs can do a reasonable job on this if you just pass them the bytes. Since I've already got a disassembler tool, we'll use it. The LLM is however adding comments to the code. Not bad, they seem pretty accurate. Looks like it stopped short, so here I'll prompt it one more time to finish the disassembly. That's a pretty nice summary, and sure, let's see how it describes the sprite data. It's kind of amusing that it thinks the sprites have a dripping blood effect. Notice that it didn't really explain the key thing here, which is how sprites are showing in the borders, so let's ask for more detail on that. What a great way to learn C64 coding, using AI assistance. Next up, let's try some models with vision support. For these examples, I'm going to use a custom Python script running on the DE10 Nano that is using models running on another machine using Olama. I've added a custom command slash explain that takes a screenshot using the MCP server and then asks the configured vision model, in this case Gemma 3, to try to identify what the running program is. And look at that, it was able to figure out that we're playing Gianna Sisters. For this next one, I've got a command slash game coach that takes a screenshot, analyzes it with the vision model, and then sends that information to our GPT OSS text model and asks it to give the player advice and show it to the player using sysop display message and do all that in a loop. This one gives pretty generic advice and clearly needs some work. Let's try the same thing but use Claude's Sonnet instead of these local models. The prompt we use here asks to analyze game state and act like a sports commentator, but heckle the player if they're clearly failing. Well, it's an interesting idea. Notice that the model gets the score wrong. It would probably make more sense to grab game state more directly instead of relying on a computer vision model to figure this all out. In a future video, we'll explore that idea more. 
hope you can see the huge potential here to use the SysOp64 and an MCP server to connect our beloved Commodore 64 to the modern world of AI. Don't forget, please like this video and subscribe to show your support for this project. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. To take it